Hello everybody, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Squeaky Chair here, my name is Mark, and um, the following video you're going to see it was filmed um, uncut and raw when I was just kind of goofing off with a very special guest. They, they've chose to remain anonymous. We refer to them as Agent Broken Wheel. And um, that's how it is. So in the following video, I... I was, n was not really intending to air, but as re reviewing it, uh, I found it way too funny to pass up. So, um, here's a special treat for you guys. Um, some really raw footage of me just goofing off with someone else in the studio with me. So, um, please do enjoy. Hello, and thanks for tuning in again today. My name is Mark. I am the Man of Speak Chair, and right now I'm having an argument with somebody who's saying, can we or can we not survive an attack from a Komodo dragon? I'm saying they're survivable. I wouldn't recommend getting into a wrestling pit with one. But yes, you can survive them. A quickle... A quickle? A quickle... <laughs> Search on Google can easily provide you with enough information to let you know if you've been bit by a Komodo dragon. For God's sakes, please get out of there. Be on the lookout for more Komodo dragons that will probably be hunting you along the way. And treat it with first aid and please get a medical attention as immediate as possible. And in his sad attempt to shut me up, he created a video. Darn right. I am using the power of the internet. To win my argument. And his advice is not peer reviewed. Please do not take his advice. Peer reviewed? It's called common sense! E. Howe said to seek medical attention! It said take a dagger and stab it in the eyeballs. That's if you're being attacked! Because guess what? If you're a dagger, just stab. <laughs> if I'm hanging out near Komodo dragons, I've got a freaking dagger. But watch out. And or hunting There's knife. There's five more Komodo dragons coming after you. First off, this is going to be the worst video ever. It is. This is going to be the No, oh no it's not. <laughs> so, this, by the way, this argument and this video brought to you by Squeaky Chair Studios. Um, proud owner of Squeaky Chair Studios, that is me. This is going to be a part of canon of Cube World, labeled The Argument. Number 582 of the evening. Well, last... It's the second one of the evening. How many Google searches this evening? At least ten. Ten Google searches, first video. Okay. And let me check my compass, okay? Almost to Durakataka Forest, where I will take on a really big bad guy, and hopefully level up my level one spitter. And then go to a dance rectical, and do the moonwalk. Hey, listen, if I'm going to dance, if I'm going to dance rectally, it's gonna be here. Kids, ask your parents. Oh, this is so blue. This is so going with a parental warning on it. <laughs> Cube World, the parental warning. That's what you probably play with. <laughs> I will. All of them. No, just this one. Okay. And trust me, we have got another eight minutes of this. I've got forever and a day to wait for my computer to catch up for the rest of the world. So that maybe I can enter the Duraka Forest. It said venomous. learn how to treat venomous bite. And the article was about Komodo dragons. I could have read the same article about pit vipers and it would have said Learn how to treat venomous bite. It also said the tour Listen. guide should cancel the tour. 
and take you to a hospital. And you doesn't it. that sound logical? <laughs> Sounds very ironic. My biggest worry is that no one's going to be able to hear you on this video, so it's just going to sound like I'm arguing with myself. Good. Dumbest video ever. Maybe that's my attention. Well, there you go, sweetie. Aren't you, aren't you happy? You're now part of the internet culture. Thank you. I'm so blessed. I'm right up there with PewDiePie now. PewDiePie. What's PewDiePie? Another guy who really does really popular um, video game videos. Oh. oh sorry. Do not know PewDiePie is. Well, I'm right on track. I just gotta get there. Oh, come on. Please render. You know you want to. I want to grab this one. Render. Render more. Is he spitting hawkers at you? Don't make me throw up. I will vomit, and it will be on this video, and then won't you be happy then? Won't you be happy? <laughs> Oh, God, that's disgusting. Kids, by the way, don't spit. It's gross. You should. That's part of childhood. You should spit. It's or. not... It's not cool. Yeah, it it's, is. like, single-handedly the most disgusting thing you could do. And off bridges and mountains. Definitely. And mind your manners. If you're dirty, take a bath. No, roll in the mud as much as possible as children. Listen, not all of us were raised in a barn. <laughs> I'm quite sure these kids of the internet age were not raised in barns either. Well, mud is not no problem. That is not a horrible thing. A what? Quill well, mudden is not a horrible thing. Quill mudden. What's a quill mudden? Going mudden. Going mudding? Mudding. Mudding. Okay. First off. It's not bad. Kid, don't kids don't... Why, why do ladies and gentlemen, that? don't go mudding. It's going to take your time away from precious video games. It's, it's not true. It enhances your... Not only that, playtime. mud gets in your underwear, and you don't want that. It's Actually, there, there, there's the title right there. Mud in your underwear. Yeah. Parental warning, mud in your underwear. Well, that's that doesn't that doesn't work on a couple different levels, actually. That, 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 that's almost rectical. That is quite rectical. Yes. And, and we're gonna go blue, we're gonna go blue. No, we're not gonna go blue. No blue? Thank you enough for cussing. Said so thank you not for cussing. Thank you not for cussing. Thank you for not cussing. Well, thank you for not cussing. <laughs> well, it's my video. I don't want to cuss. Well, I don't want to cuss either. I have a strict no cussing law about my videos. Well, why would I cuss on your video? I don't know. I actually I tried to. The other people walked in during while I'm doing videos and they're like, "Kids, close your ears." Whole lot of beep 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 beep. We're just shoving your beep. That was not me. Oh, the Commodore 64 almost caught up. It's my 10 minutes up yet. Longest video ever. No, another three minutes to go. Let's see here. How long can I argue on on video? Oh no. BLT pizza. Especially mayonnaise. If oh uh, mayonnaise does not belong in a pizza. It's BLT pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please give your consensus on this video. Does mayonnaise belong on a pizza? Yes. I want your view. I want your comments. I tell you what. Give me your best comments uh, about mayonnaise on a pizza. Put it in context. Does mayonnaise belong on a pizza? A BLT pizza. Pizza. BLT pizza. Does mayonnaise belong on a pizza? A BLT pizza. It, it does. If the pizza world pizza is still involved. Does mayonnaise belong on it? I want to know your your opinion, yes or no. Um, top uh, top best answer. The best. Uh, I'll give you the top the two. The best answer. It's either yes or no. How, what best answer? Maybe they're gonna come up with something creative. Please come up with something creative. <laughs> Tell me why mayonnaise would belong on your pizza. You're if it's a good enough answer, I'm reaching. giving a game away. I'm not reaching for. I'm reaching for inner, 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 inner activity. I want these people's opinion to know. I'm like, do they want mayonnaise on their pizza? If so, tell me why. A BLT pizza? No, not a regular pizza that you have like banana peppers and stuff on. Bacon, lettuce, tomato. I tell you what. Okay, you know what? Never mind that. We'll we'll skip the whole mayonnaise and the pizza thing. You tell me your bet, your favorite slice of pizza, what you like on it, best <laughs> toppings, wins a game. All right. You know I'm right. You know I'm right. That's mayonnaise does not belong it. on a you pizza. Just switched your contest rule because you know I'm right. People like BLT pizza. I bet you ten to one. If people had haven't had a BLT pizza. If, what are you trying to say about your viewers? I'm saying that they actually have taste. Ah, uh, yeah, for BLT pizza. And taste really buds. Oh, oh no! I drew the line right there. What the hell were you thinking? <sighs> Listen, I am trying to get you to rock a forest. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. No, this argument isn't over, but this video is. So please, in the comments below, tell me what you like on your pizza. Best toppings win. Win a free game on me from Steam. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in again. My name is Mark. I am the man with the speaker chair. This has been the parental guidance. <laughs> <laughs> or parental warning. If you are under 14, <laughs> turn this video off. Because it's already too late and you've seen it all. So, <laughs> we'll put this. thank you so much for tuning in again. My name is Mark. I am the man with the ski chair. Um, all the links and all the Twitters and all the Facebookies and all the Instagrams and whatever is going to go on the bottom. Um, uh, banner contest is still open and running. Please uh, send your submissions to uh, Squeaky Chair Studios at gmail.com. And I will see you again next time. Squeaky Chair out.